Let me guess, you clicked on this video for one reason and one reason only. You want that cinematic collation glow look on your digital footage without breaking the bank on expensive plugins. Well, join the club. Luckily for you, I created a Premiere Pro preset that does exactly that in just a few seconds. And if you ask me, it's criminally underpriced, but more about that in a second. First, I think it's really important we define what halation actually is in film photography. So film halation in photography is when bright areas in a photo appear surrounded by a glowing or hazy effect, similar to a halo caused by light scattering within the film itself. Now, typically plugins emulating this effect can be super costly. And as much as I love the halation glow look, I found myself thinking there has to be a cheaper alternative. And although I didn't even look, I did end up making one myself and that's what we're here to talk about. So let's jump right into Premiere Pro and let me show you. So if we hop into Premiere Pro, we can go to our effects and to install the preset, you're gonna right click on presets, go to import presets, and then you're gonna find the two that you've downloaded from the link in the description. Then we're gonna import them one by one. So first the top preset, and then we'll do the same steps and we're gonna import the bottom one as well. And then we can go find them. You'll see we have a top one and a bottom one. So now we've got some clips here on our timeline. They are simply color graded with a Lumetri color. Color grade, nothing fancy at all. We can take a look, just some basic corrections and a basic LUT that I have applied there. So go ahead and color grade however you see fit. And now once we're happy with our color grade, we're going to alt drag up and drop to duplicate our clip. And with that top one selected, we're gonna go up to effects and now we're gonna search for that pack preset that we just downloaded and drag the top one of the two onto our top clip. Self-explanatory, top is top, bottom goes on bottom like so. And now we're gonna reselect the top clip and now we just have to go to our opacity blending modes and there's a couple that we can choose from to get a few different styles. So the first one I'm going to choose is going to be screen and you'll see how it looks there. We've got the nice highlight blooms really showing up if we compare it to the original footage. And now if we go down to hard light, the highlights are gonna be a little less intense but if that's what you're going for, it looks great. And finally, I also like to use overlay. It's a little more subtle, but sometimes that's what you're going for. And again, compared to the original, you can really see a difference. Now that method works great if you're only adding it to a couple clips, but if we wanna do it to an entire finished edit, we can simply set our in and out points and export a high res lossless file of our edit and I'll show you why in a second. Make sure to save it somewhere you can find it. And you want to make sure that we are set at QuickTime and Apple ProRes 4444 and hit match source and export. And once that's exported, we're gonna bring that high res file back into Premiere Pro by selecting it and hitting import. And then we're gonna drag that into our new sequence, just like so. And then we're gonna alt drag to duplicate one more time with that top one selected. You guessed it, we're gonna go ahead and search for halation and grab the top preset and add that on. And from there, we're gonna go back up to our bottom preset and drag that onto our bottom clip like so. And all we have left to do is change the blending mode as we see fit, like I showed you earlier. So choose your favorite and you're all set from there. And again, if you found this preset helpful, feel free to download it from the link in the description or go to justinsaran.gumroad.com and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.